Hello, hello. Here we are with more hide light. How's it going? Happy Monday. It was an unhappy Sunday. A lot of frustration yesterday. <laughs> Anyway, I've spent a little bit of time trying to figure out how to deal with this game, whether we're truly softlocked or not. I have made the discovery that we're not softlocked, so that's good. Something. Um, a little bit concerned. Was it here? No. Here. I was having to mess about earlier with the save and stuff. Is that my good save? Okay, there we go. This is the one from yesterday. That looked like that was like post dying on the boss. Maybe the ending? I don't know. Okay. Let's continue with this. So I did start the timer. We're going to have to leave the dungeon, I think, because oh God, it's going to be painful to get out of here. Like, really painful. I don't even need this sword. Well, I do, actually, probably just to make my way back to the boss. How much experience do I have? 28. I, I want to get a little bit more health, is the problem. Oh, I can change that one. Hey, Fishy Ash. How's it going today? Did you hear the good news? We're not soft locked. We're gently, like, squishily locked. It's actually doable. It's just rubbish. So, so ridiculous. Just bad game design. I basically just need to grind enough to make sure that I have enough health to survive the final boss. Or, don't take any damage at all. I'm gonna go get another level to give us a bit of leeway and also buy one of those resurrection items. But, because I've already picked up the camping stuff, what should we do with the bars? Yeah, I'm gonna have to grind a smidge first, I think. I don't remember which way it was, this way. I still stand by my statements, though, that I think it's very poorly designed to suddenly require me to use a projectile. I, I, I have done lo so much research, I think it's impossible to do the boss any other way. You can't kill him without a projectile weapon. Which I find incredibly unfair. Imagine you're playing like, uh, you know, like Dungeons and Dragons or Oblivion or something, and you're like playing as a warrior or a mage or something and at the very end of the game they're just like oh by the way you need to use a bow and arrow on this boss and that's it sorry it's like okay well let me just like throw my fucking sword away it's really bad there's there's so many ways they could have done this better like had the had an item that is a projectile in a chest in the room before the end of the final boss or you know even at a stretch in the same dungeon would be nice the same dungeon as the boss maybe have a computer terminal letting you use magic is a little bit too much perhaps i can see why they wouldn't because i could just spam invincibility 
and it would make the magic user pretty broken. So I can appreciate like they don't want to let you use magic in the fight, but like, let me change gear. Or just don't design him so you have to use a projectile. Or at least, yeah, I don't know, part one is projectile, part two is not, but let you change gear. I don't see why you can't change your weapon. I don't see what it's preventing you from doing. Magic's been pretty much useless anyway. The only thing magic's been good for is um, increasing my weight limit and then in the latter half of the game casting invincibility and then obviously the cure spells but they don't work in bosses anyway. It's like I have this um, destruction, like these, these are my mage spells, I don't use them. I've got sleep, I mean yes, I guess it's kind of okay but probably good for getting past enemies. Maybe I should use that a bit more, it's a bit late now. Let's use it now. Um, what's that one do again? It just slows them down. Um, then I've got the one that illuminates caves. That's pretty useful. But, you know, you can buy items that do the same thing. It's nice to have a spell. Then I've got my destruction magic, which I don't think even works on these enemies that well. Now, but you don't, I don't think you get experience anyway, so I didn't want to use it. I do need to grind another level out. Oh, I'm over encumbered for some reason. Have I still got my currency converter? I think I've thrown it away already. Yeah, great. Oh, I do have money in the bank. See, what they should do is have, like, I don't know, an item drop for, like, the... for a projectile weapon in this dungeon, maybe? The fact that I can't really fix the problem very easily has not been very good. I don't know how much experience I actually do need, though. I might grind on that floor a bit. I think the enemies are a touch better. I don't remember how much experience I do need. 50 something, I think. I'm also, I still think that, I don't even know how normal people know how to deal with the final boss either. Why would your brain ever think that you need to jump into its mouth and hit it when jumping into its mouth causes damage? It makes no sense and when I'm in that, I did wonder why I could attack inside its mouth but I wasn't sure I was actually hitting it, I just was aware that there was like an attack, the, this sound of attacking 
when I was in its mouth, I could hold down attack and it was making the sound, but there's no indication that I'm doing any damage. Much like when I've weakened him and stood in front of his mouth and shot at him, um, it looks like I'm doing damage, but I'm actually not, because I've stood in front of him and shot him for ages, like, until I've starved to death, pretty much, and it didn't kill him. But I have managed to kill him this afternoon by having... I mean, I can't... Because the thing is, I can't even see how much health I've got because it goes off the gauge. So a couple of hits at first won't even make the bar go down. Because it's overcapped. But I've got 327 HP. I'm, I don't know how much is visually visible. But I mean, well, how much is that? 126. So there's probably about, what, 200 and something visible? But I was over that, and then I went inside his mouth, and I had started attacking, and it was draining down. I presume I was very much near the, the heart, the maximum. I don't think I took any damage, but it's, sometimes it's hard to judge. But yeah, I managed to kill him, and as you can see in the picture that I posted on the Discord, he died, and I had, like, for all I could see, zero health left. I think just he died first, but I was actually dead. Because there's no life gauge left, but it, it registered as he died, and I got the experience, and the game ended. But it's like, how utter... Like, what kind of jank is that? <laughs> So I'm, I think I'm going to try and grind just to have a, a little bit more room. Oh my god, get out of the way, I can't get out of here. Like I don't know why normal people would ever sort of figure any of it out. I imagine they'd figure out the projectile part of it maybe, but... Um, like me, you know, like me, the fact that you can even, like, go into the boss fight being unable to kill him and not know is ridiculous. Because, like, you know, my original run, before I found out that I needed a projectile, I didn't have a projectile weapon, so I'm just in the boss fight attacking him. I don't know if I'm doing any damage or not, much like with the dragon. It turns out I'm actually not doing any dragon damage, but I'm trying over and over and over again to try and kill him with my sword, not knowing it's actually even totally impossible and nothing's happening. It sounds like I'm doing damage, but I'm not. And, you know, I wonder how many people spent hours and hours and hours trying to do that and thinking, what am I doing wrong, trying to figure out how to do that like who would then leave and go I know I must need to buy a bow that's it must need a projectile that's what I'm missing here I don't think anybody would naturally it feels very much read the tips in the magazine or just be lucky that you decided to use projectile weapons I mean there's probably a lot of people to be honest I guess one strain of logic, and I maybe shot myself in the foot with, is that um, the sword that I have is the best sword in the game, but it was also very obscure to find it. It's kind of like a secret. You had to find it on a tile, go to another location, and then find another sword there, but only when you pick one up. And it's like a secret sword, I guess, the silver sword. So maybe the flame sword, if I didn't have that sword, would arguably be the best weapon, so you wouldn't throw it away. But, I don't know. A lot of people probably finished the game through Argo. A lot of people probably finished the game with the flame sword because they never got the sword that I got. So me finding I mean, it's probably my own fault for seeing that it was in a wiki thing. Um, me getting the best sword ever, which is probably like, you know, Excalibur in Final Fantasy or something that you're not 
typically going to get. Maybe that has messed things up, but I still think as a programmer and a game designer you should do a better job than relying on that assumption. Because you could also, the other thing too is, you could quite easily miss the flame sword in that other dungeon completely and just do the dungeon and not pick it up. Or, yeah, I don't know, you're just too heavy. Maybe you've been rocking as a mage the entire game and don't want to, you don't have the weight system. There's just too many variables. I guess you might have the great bow, but I threw that away. I just don't think it's cool. This isn't where I'm meant to go. I'm not sure if I have enough. What's wrong with the Tower of Druaga? So what to do? Yeah, but why is it difficult? Like, what, what do you need the hints for? And does it for real? Sometimes I wonder. Some games do. This, I don't think this game does. I might take the time to look again. But. Sometimes games actually do, but it's just that people don't take the time to find them. Like, there might be... You'll be home soon, India. Indan. Uh -oh. You'll explain that, 55,000. I can. Oops, I think I just killed a good enemy, but you know what? I don't care. How much until it goes back up again? Yeah, quite a lot of older games, the people say, oh, I don't know how you would know that, but it's like there will actually be an NPC somewhere probably that tells you. This game has, for the most part, covered most of its nonsense, but it's just been a bit poorly timed. Because I, I don't like the way that the, M the NPCs just are totally silent until it's their time to give you the hint. It's, it's, I'd rather there were less NPCs and they just change what they have to say rather than some NPCs suddenly start talking after a certain point in the game but you don't know when that's going to be. Oh, is that enough experience? Because it's like 57. That sounds ri ridiculous. Oh, I read it, I think I got it. It sounds ridiculous. Oh, 
Oh my god, I didn't save first. Three, two, eight. Is that even good? What did I say my, my health was before? Oh, I might reset. I'm gonna reset because we did just save in the other town, didn't I? I don't think I got much health out of that. Three, two, did I say, was that three, two, eight? I got one HP. Fuck this game. So rude. <sighs> Community effort. Is this an old game? I thought that was really old. On the arcade, that was right around the figure out to get certain items. Oh, that's so. Yeah. This doesn't sound good. I mean, yeah, I'm sure somebody would have figured this out, you know, and there'd be a magazine, a hints magazine, and it'd do the rounds and stuff, so people would know, and people would know how to finish it, but I still think that's trash. There's certain games, like, I'm trying to think what else is, like, really bad that you wouldn't know how to do. I feel like most games that I play, you can often figure it out. I mean, I figured out 98% of this game. You know, like the dragon boss and all that stuff. Actually, no, I figured out a bit less of this game, I guess. There was a few things I did check. Most, but I think I could have figured a lot of it out if I wanted to. It didn't seem too un, too unrealistic. Like the, finding the fairy was, it was obnoxious. But you know, I, I'd have just covered every tile until I found her eventually. I knew she was on the third floor because the game had told me. Um, likewise with the. A bit weird. But the final boss, I don't know if my brain ever would have gone there with this. I'd have been trying to fight him for ages with my sword and wondering why, whether I'm doing any damage or not. Ridiculous solutions. 47. Oh, I should totally put this boss. Let me open my own Discord a second. I should put this boss in the back seat, him. Because it's, it's fucking ridiculous. Let me remind myself to do that. Um. I believe how silly this one has been. I don't even know how I'd word it. Shoot the four bumps on the boss's back with a projectile that you've already discarded. Climb into its mouth and hope that you can defeat it before you drop dead from HP drain. If you don't have the right weapon, then make sure you grind to have enough health, but there's no indication if you're even close to killing it or not. Good luck! Because that was why I did all the testing this afternoon. I just wanted to check if I could kill it for a start before I started wasting my time trying to grind. Because, you know, maybe I grind a level or two and get a bit more health, but what if I had only done, like, 20% of his health with that crappy bow? Maybe it was, well, I'd have to grind to, like, level... 60 or so. I don't even know if this game ever caps, you know. Who knows? Because the main issue is um, use the Sword of Omens to defeat the final boss, exactly. The Flame Sword. What would that... I, um, the problem was... I don't know now. What was the problem? <laughs> Oh yeah, the problem is, is that the projectile weapons in this game don't scale off your strength stats, so they never will improve. I will never do any more damage than I'm doing right now. I've soft-locked myself into only being able to do this much damage to the fight. I can't get a stronger weapon, and I can't grind to get stronger and do more damage. The only thing I can do is possibly increase my defense, but I'm not sure if defense actually counts on this boss, because it seems like my health just ticks down one by one. 
or maybe I'm at the max defense to reduce the damage. So the only thing I could do is that is is just um, expand my health to make sure I have more time to kill it. But uh, doesn't feel good. How are you, by the way, James? A? Let's see if I can get a nice roll with this health. Right, what are we at? 327, eh? 329. That's a rubbish roll. I'm getting 2 HP for a level up now. You know? I don't really like to scum leveling up, but the game's scummy. But I probably got to the point where there's such terrible returns now. Three two seven. I didn't even get any health with that that level up. Oh, it's not looking good. I think I'm just gonna have to try and kill it without taking any damage. I'm probably getting like at a realistic health cap, which makes it this. Which makes all of this even worse. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, they're limiting how much health I can have. And that's the only thing I can do to win. 330. Ugh. 3 HP difference. That's going to give me, like, an extra millisecond to kill him. It's just not good. Got a lot of weight carry that time though. Hmm. I don't know, let's try again. 3.30 seems pretty good though. Let's just keep going for a bit and see if it's the best I can get. I can't tell if I'm just being incredibly unlucky right now or it's just this stingy. Three, two, seven. Nothing that one time. Imagine not being told you need the Orb of Light to defeat the final boss. I haven't played Dragon Quest 3. Don't know about that. Three, three, one. I mean, it's a little bit better. I want the most. Three, three, one. Any advance on three three one? That's four health. I mean, I'll take it. Three two nine. No. Nope. Three three zero. I think I'm just gonna if I get a three three one again I'll stick with it. Which I'll probably never get now.
Oh my god. Three three zero. I've seen a three three one though. Definitely looks like we're only getting between one or five HP or something now. Three three one. Guess I'll keep it. Right, and then what we can do is we could buy, I mean, we could either level up again or, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to try and buy the, who sold the water of life? Was it this town? Which will resurrect me. I wonder how many, if I can only buy one. Probably can, but even one would give me just a smidge more health. I think. Oh my god. Just get out the bastard way. Town then, or the underground town. sells it. Maybe it was the sky one that I don't remember that having a shop. Did it look was it in the castle? Was it this? Can I have more than one? No. <laughs> of course not. Need to buy the foods. I'm tempted to just throw like my sword away, to be honest. 42,000. We could just walk really slowly, you know, and just eat all my food <laughs> as we go. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Don't need any... I do need some money, actually. thousand to stay up here. I 
Probably got a bit too much food. What else can I throw away? Very tempted to throw my sword away. So I'm not really using it except to just get through the enemies. Can't seem to get under the limit with this. There we go. It's all or nothing now. Let's go. Oh, I can't wait to play like Fancy Star or something instead. <laughs> After all that talk yesterday. But, we'll spread the RPGs out. They'll be nice though. Off we go, final dungeon, try and do the final fight. I might as well just start casting some of these spells. Stop the enemies moving. It only works on one screen, that's no good. Monday. It is, yes. Oops. Get out. Bloody way. Get out.
I barely even need the invincibility, I think, at this point. I got that much defense. I've got to remember my way back. Uh, what did you... Did you just pick something up? Oh, I guess maybe all this stuff is supposed to be like where he's creating everything, the boss, perhaps. Or do we just have lunch? Can I walk through there? Okay. As soon as he's like the creator of the world. Or Here we are again. Okay, so let's do some sorting out housekeeping before we go. Drop a save, as soon as we can use the camp. The camp item's kind of broken. I did read about it being like a glitch, I think. Like, you use it and it gets consumed when you load and you save your game. But then when you reload, it's like not been consumed, but it still works. So like, you only need one, but they're really heavy. How much food have I got? I've got three lots of food. That actually means I'm better off now than I was before. Let's get some of this. I don't need any magic. Let's put the bow on. I, I want to throw my sword away, but what if I want to go grind again? Let's not do that. It consumes a meal. Oh, for God's sake. I'm just going to throw that away. And let's go. I don't think I even need the invincibility, but I've got some speed up. I'm going to go for the, almost the fastest. Catch me on the catch me on the pun. You're welcome. The grinding is over though. Now it's super fine aligned. 
should have gone with that one. Tears, final boss hive. I can now, I just can't take damage. My nails, the worst time to like shoot them up, face trigger problems. It's very hard to hit the outer legs and keep him from firing. So let's keep shooting his face to stop him shooting you. I might not have enough health now. Although I do have the water. Which I didn't have earlier. I don't know how much health it gives me now. Ah! Here we go! Die, 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 die. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. <sighs> I don't even think my life water worked. That's so bad. I don't have enough health. Well, I didn't have enough health that run. That's so terrible. That's so bad. So, 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 so bad. So, the only difference I've got is that extra 4 HP, but I took too many hits. So, to beat this boss, I can take absolutely no damage in this fight. <sighs> so very bad. Let's make sure we're... Are we actually at full health? Yeah. 3-3-1. Three, three, I beat it earlier with 2-2-7, taking no damage, but it was like pretty much down to the zero. I can't believe the the life water doesn't seem to work. Oh, you have to equip her. Okay. Okay, it wasn't equipped. This is fine. Hopefully it'll buy us the extra time that we need. See, I, I think as well, the collision on these arrows, hitting the bumps, 
it doesn't even seem like very accurate. Like I don't even know when I'm hitting them sometimes, and some of them seem to die like quickly. Actually, we'll eat a meal very soon. Might be able to get my health back. Let's do that. I won't get it all though, but I'll get a bit. About five o'clock or six o'clock or something. Just chow down on a sandwich while we're shooting this guy. I'm just gonna. Ooh, I'm gonna wait for the food to go. Game. I think at 8 o'clock he'll eat. And then I'll go in. But he's in. Still not, <laughs> I've still not got enough, but it does give me a bit more health. I really cannot afford to take any damage. That's so dumb. A load of twaddle. Let me just try the fast speed, but it's, uh, it's a bit unwieldy. See, I also don't know why I can't kill him like this way. Like, why do I have to destroy the bombs first? And that's one of the issues that I have with the boss, because visually and sound-wise, what's the difference? It sounds like exactly the same. So why would you ever conclude that you're doing damage the second time around when the first time around, like, well, if you walk into his mouth now and attack, it visually and orally sounds exactly the same as when you do it after he's had his blob bits blown up as well. So I don't know where the jumping logic is where you would go, hang on a minute, that's how you kill him. It's just the mind boggles. I wonder if on other ports it's more apparent, but this Mega Drive version it's very, very, very trash. Get out the damn way.
Why is my invincibility lasting so long this time? Can you stack it? <laughs> Can I do cast it a few times? Here we go! Lots and lots and lots of health. Go, go, go! Dead! We win! Weird, we got more experience this time. It's over. <sighs> GG indeed. It's a sweet GG. GG, yeah, it's done, that's it, it's over. To think that I could be defeated by you, I know, right? You surely went out of your way to program it so it was impossible. But it's a little too early to feel kind of relieved to have defeated me. I have one last thing to tell you. So, I created this fairy land, Valias and the, the evil crystal. What the hell was the evil crystal? I don't even remember that being a thing. I made it all. Was that in the tower? I can't remember. But I made one mistake. Well, there was one mistake that was made. That was you, your existence. To think that you would grow this much. <laughs> I will soon die. But when I when I die, so this land will also be destroyed. Or well, this hideout where he's at, where we are right now. And then Fairyland will disappear. And I won't die. Ha 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 ha. And off he goes. So together with the death of the ru the ruler of darkness, Gaizak, the the headquarters, whatever it was disappeared. Door of time, I guess it is. Boom! Ooh, are we naked? 
where, where, where am I? Am I still alive? We say. Oh, wait, did I miss a line? Oh, this is a world of nothingness. The only thing left is you. The voice of the fairy speak. Uh, you hear the voice of the fairy say. What's that? So in this space where there's nothingness. What did I do? Oh, I floated around. <laughs> Moon is floating around me. In a space of nothingness. Just what was um, I fighting for up to now? The fight up to now. I wonder. Everything is gone. This is a real downer of an ending. <laughs> Moon closed his eyes and began to remember the former beauty of Fairyland. Oh, that's me. Nice armor. Do I have a projectile weapon? So the green plains, the clean air. Hey, Techie Rob. The sun that always shines brightly, and also the cute, like, endearing fairies. Charming. Um, what was that? What is that word again? be soaked, to be immersed in. So after being immersed in his own memories for a while, the uh, opened his eyes and felt the warmth of the, of the light. Felt the warmth of the light and opened his eyes. It's black and white. Moon couldn't had like didn't say anything. Like no voice came out. The beautiful scenery that was had been filling he'd been like cov like I can't think about immersed in memories of just before was now spread out before his very eyes. And among the green plains, the fairies frolicked gleefully. Well done, hero. You've done well. Um, your battle went as we hoped. Or as was hoped, I guess. The fairyland up until now was one created by Gysak. However, this fairyland um, has been created by the pureness of your heart. Or your pure heart. Uh, 
as long as your heart continues to be pure then this world then peace will continue in this world Ta -da. The end. Oh, there's that dinosaur. That's the Asmic Ace mascot. Well, there we go. The end of Super Hard Light. A bit anticlimactic after last night. I'm glad it's over. The ending was nice at least. Yeah, in the end. It was very grim until till the last moment. Ah, uh, now I heard there's a thing. Oh, maybe that's what my save was earlier because I did finish the fight, didn't I? Yeah, here, look. So, I think there's a thing. If you go to the the sound test place. There's a new song. It's probably just, I think it's just the ending credits, but we'll go have a look. Um, I don't remember what to do now. I want to turn the speed down, it's too much. But yeah, it was possible, but with a lot of rubbish. Don't really sort of downvoted this game a lot based on that ending. You know, it's gone from being like what I would I would have said 7 out of 10, but I'm leaning more to like 5 now. I think that that ending has really left a sour taste in my mouth about this game. Oh, you can watch the ending over and over again. I didn't mean to go in that room, but I guess I didn't know you could do this. I don't want to watch it again, though. But we can. Yeah, that's neat if you want to see it again. I actually want to go to the sound testing. I'm like, is it going to reset my game or... Maybe it's not the sound test then. I just read something about the ending thing is added, but maybe it meant this. It was like in a... a, a trivia, in like a secret Easter eggs or whatever it was. the end of Super Hard Lard. What's next? Pray tell. Bit of rest. I might move on to WWE at WrestleMania. I guess we could get it ready while I'm leaving this ending going. Killing God will never not be a cool final boss. It will also never not be a cliche. I mean, he's at least, I feel like in this one, he's like kind of not really. He's kind of God, but like by definition, I guess, but not really. I don't know. No, I guess he is really. He's God. Uh, WWF Royal Rumble 1993. Seven five. Uh, where 
is it? It's 174 done, super hard lad. I always forget to change these genre icons. Is this fighting or is it sports? Who knows? So I guess that means. Yeah, technically I became a god. I mean, yeah, you have to wonder, maybe it's a cycle of whatever. Maybe eventually I'll become the next guy, Zach. How would you know to do this? So, so. Oh, what do we do? Why do we get our health? Some of the music was really good. Like the sound of grinding. Oh, every all directions make you do that. I've lost the thing. Where are we? Dragon's a good tune. Ba -da -ba. That's a good one. That one annoyed me, to be honest. It was too shrill. Da, 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 da. That's a good one. That's the ending, isn't it? That we just heard disappear. New creator. Out of freedom. Let's listen to the shop music. And I'm gonna do the spreadsheet. Do, 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 do. Guy Zach is a great romanization. Yeah, he's um I don't even know what, how else you'd spell it though. I think I think in the Western version they spell it with a K. I think. I don't remember now. How do they spell it? Guy Zach. They don't spell it that way. I think it's like K A I. Oh, they spell it. They spell it like this, which is worse. Isaac. Uh, I'd have dropped the K personally, I don't know. Looks too much like the name Zach. K Zach, Guy Zach. But, uh, let's listen to Dragon. 